It happens hundreds of times each year. People in the path of Chicago trains. Now we've obtained this photo showing the danger. CBS 2 investigated the issue this summer, and now our Lauren Victory has learned the problem appears to be getting worse. It took me a second to realize what was going on. The alarm bells went off for the person behind this photo, just like the alerts that pop up almost every day. She wasn't moving off the track. She hadn't dropped anything. She was just standing there. The incident captured by this CTA writer who didn't want to be identified isn't even among the 50 different delays we found posted to the Chicago Transit Authority's Twitter page. That's 50 unique times that trains fell behind schedule in just two months because of an unauthorized person on the tracks. I could see a train at Granville, which would take seconds for that train to make it to Thorndale where we were. Potentially two people could have right. been hit. This panicked witness said the station attendant wasn't on the platform and wasn't in his booth. He was at the little store next to the station. He had to go back into his booth, get his vest, put it on, lock up the booth to go upstairs. How long did it take him to get upstairs? It took him, I mean, at least a full minute. There was just no sense of urgency. Thankfully, the young girl and her companion were okay, but things don't always turn out this way. Who can forget this summer's tragic case where a woman was hit and killed by a red line train after she jumped off the platform to get her phone. Another woman fell backwards off of the platform. Yep, I read those stories afterwards and it, I mean, it's that easy. It can happen that quickly. What is it that made you send this to me? Because he didn't react quickly. I wanted to see what CTA's protocols were, and that's how I found your story. She's referring to this CBS2 investigation. Why not have somebody on the platform watching what's happening at all times? Uh, well, that is that gets to a, a, st a staffing issue. We sat down with CTA in July after we combed through track trespassing data from three different city departments, discovering that people wound up on the tracks almost 600 times in two years. We also learned our taxpayer funded transit system contains tens of thousands of surveillance cameras, but station attendants don't have a TV or computer to see a live feed from those cameras inside their booths. Why not? It's something that we're moving toward, uh, but it's not something that was originally done when the security cameras were installed. What is the status of this project, we asked, three months after that interview. CTA took four full days to send us a three-sentence response and ignored my question. We also asked about the supposed updated signage campaign, revamping these ads about the dangers of the track area. CTA originally said it was working on them in-house, meaning no outside costs. But we didn't get an update on that either. Commuters are also demanding answers. Remember all those tweets about delays? Check out some of the comments. Do better, CTA, and still a daily occurrence? Why? And there's no reason to think it'll stop, considering history and what the Federal Transit Administration is reporting. Data shows CTA collisions specifically involving trains and people, and excluding suicides, have steadily risen over the past 10 years. 2019's numbers are only for half the year. They say their next step is to put up some updated signage. <laughs> I guess I just don't see how like signage is how signage would have helped in my situation. Are you still in disbelief? Oh yeah, I, and I still don't know what to do, like if that were ever to occur again. How many more close calls to get some action? It was pretty traumatizing. Laura Victory, CBS 2 News. Other than telling Lauren safety is paramount, the CTA refused to provide specifics on what's being done to keep people off the tracks. We also asked Mayor Lori Lightfoot to respond to our findings, but no one ever returned our phone calls or emails.